for Cloud9, they put both the Viper and Killjoy there. But, oh game. my god! That's the spike shown as well, so everything is known at this point. It comes down to the gunfights as Laurie tries to press forward for the team, playing more ground, and they're actually getting backside control. Good stuff so far here from Shopify Rebellion, and he's in a quite a desperate predicament, unable to make it away from that corner, leaving just Katsumi and Mel here to try to do the damage, and there is damage to be done. Mori and KP quite low on health, but are able to fall back on that post-plant. Mel now coming in on the flank. Not sure if they have a sense of Mel's position. Katsumi, if she can run distraction here, just create some noise, pull the crosshairs towards her direction. Perhaps Mel can have some impact on this flank. I love this post-plant setup, though, here coming through from Shopify Rebellion. Set up quite nicely. Mel will find the first player. Oh, great shot from Panini. Left it up to Katsumi now. 10 HP and it's not going to work out. Right, they're giving up the site. They're opting for that retake approach. Ooh, Katsumi. Oh, there it does get the catch on Delori. It was labored. That's a good pick to get. Again, they're going to just try to bide their time here. Spike still needs to go down, but that might also be the op opportunity when it starts to be planted for a push to come through. And in fact, Mel will go forward and they're going to drop onto the site. That's Panini gone. It is a struggle. What a great retake effort before the spikes even planted. Picking the right timing, C9, and now Flowerfall in a one versus three. I got the spike. To get the spike, but the bonus round has been easily dealt with by C9. Oh. These sites, and it's a free site, so it's up to the retake again for C9 White. Again, Mel finds this opening frag, Dan. Playing retake, she's finding these frags. Lori gone again, five on four for Cloud9 White, but still a very difficult retake. You see Cloud9 White setting up the coordinated push in. They all want to go in together from these different angles. Well, the swing won't be met all too well there for Cino well, the Mel at least. You know, White gaining some ground here towards the side. The Viper utility really causing problems. Still though, Cino White with a player advantage. There comes the pressure off of the tap. Oh, it's looking good initially for Shopify, but they're starting to run other players. Just Panini left. No use hill to throw onto that spike. Great pick onto Oh no! Oh, Panini's doing it! Can she find the last remaining? He doesn't know where the last player is! Oh! Panini will find it! Gun rounds. They won't go B on the important rounds, it looks like. They like going to this A site. And now they're gonna go through mid. Oh, great pick. Yeah, before Mel has dropped her lockdown. So now Mel can drop the lockdown, not having to worry about a Hunter's Fury to actually eliminate it. Oh, Katsumi, this Ooh. is such an OP oh! Viper's pit. What a spot. The spike and her feet as well. Old Flowerful finds the frag, but against two players now, has to recover that spike. Not a rush to do it. There is time to work with. She wants She's to find the space funny. here. Two players backside. Flowerful will. I mean, you have to take a guess. You've got to take the to drop the lockdown. And the Hunter's Fury didn't come in from Annie either. So I would expect Flowerful to make a play with the lockdown here, probably on that A site. And Laurie's just holding the high position around the pipes. You should run. There goes the lockdown and the counter lockdown. There's the Hunter's Fury, the break hit from Annie. Now it's going to give the edge here to the defenders wow. and C9 White. Even gets the pick onto Han, so things looking definitely more difficult now for Shopify as they have to retake the site. Here comes some lineups. See that flank from Panini. Player to watch. Flowerful defense as well. This forward push coming in from C9 White. And it's gonna work. It isn't as easy as it would seem. That's oh. the first pick. Till. Viper's there as well. KP needs to live. Oh no, KP dies. That's a gun gone as well. Shopify are in a very bad spot now. Cloud9 White are encircling around them. They've got to fight their way out of this one. Mel with a nice right click. A second comes through as well. Massive damage done. It's all on Han and Panini now. They don't have any ults to save them here. It might even be a question of just getting damage in at least here. Don't allow weapons to get into the hands of your opponents. Aren't able to get the spike planted. Three players coming in from Orange from Kitchen. And they've at least like siloed their opponents into one spot, but it's up to Han in a one versus four. Oh, and Annie's he's got that phantom in hand. And Ooh, we've got Laurie trying to... Oh, I was about to say trying to do the same, but it's actually Han that gets the kill. Laurie still has some blades left here. One, actually. <laughs> so, <laughs> let's see if that one's going to connect. Looking for the refresh on this blade storm. Ooh, dashing around, trying to find it. 
You can see right now, the snipe's been given. Oof, she was fishing for a frag with that one blade. <laughs> Spear fishing. CC9, they've been really coordinated on these retakes. Yeah, but they have no ults this time, Dan. They're in a 4 on 5. How do they retake the site? Now going forward, great opening defensive kills coming through from Shopify so far. C9 White, though, it's hard to deny them. They'll get, gain some ground here. The Poison Orb plus the barrier is going to cause some problems. Killjoy Utility is helping out enormously here from Flowerfall. I'm assuming yeah. making a way forward, but it's going to be up to Alexis now that Snake Bite plus the Poison Orb combo is in. They can slow it down. Oh, I like the aggressive vice wall there that has to be broken to actually get the spike planted. That's quite innovative. You will not the wall goes up. Ally. Res comes through. Very tricky to get the spike planted here. Four versus five for Shopify. As they try to win some of these battles. Alexis goes down. And that might give some opportunity here. Spike There's no... Down, through the site and take out Annie. And they've got to make a call. And I think Flaffle walked backwards into Meldad. So... Oh, here goes Lori. Oh, there it is. Two. And that's exactly what you're talking about, Sean. And they have the option to even go A if they would have wanted, but it's Mel. That is a distraction play. Lori goes down. The crosshair placement. Not ready for Katsumi's position. Han with the wrap. And can she find a second? Oh, it's so good from Han. Fast pacing, and they look confident. Lori with the blades there, creating that pressure. Viper's pit comes through as well. Very hard to deal with, but actually Katsumi able to find a couple kills. If the Vipers pit backfire a little bit, but we'll see now in the post plant if it will help them. C9 White find Panini though in this pit, Dan. How do they? They're sticking together in a pack of three and they're going to go through the back. Our four finds a good timing. The trade is there, but the info is also there for Panini to play off of. This is huge. Can Penny isolate these fights in 1v1? Makes the play through, but Jazzy with the dash actually to perhaps catch any any players. So that suggests to me they're going to slow things down here. But there's that Hunter Tree coming through to try to respond to the pinning Panini very far towards that B position. So are they going to commit into this A site? Powerful with that pick. Almost oh. a gap there for Alexis. I, th I don't think she had any idea. So the spike goes down. The flank as well. The timing of this, Sean. It's been set up so nicely here. Turret will catch it, but again, there's just the presence here from KP. It's going to be very difficult to deal with, and the double lockdown's in play. Katsumi goes beyond the oh. wall, and she finds two. Two HP. He is uh, stuck without anything to do there. KP comes through on that flank, and it's looking great now. Just down to Alexis, coming through from the bridge. And they know precisely where Alexis is now. It's going to be next to impossible, and she's and this is interesting right now. Got a lot of control around this kitchen position. There's two players, though, for Shopify Rebellion around yellow. So this is a very interesting pistol so far. Are we on a journey discovery? No, somebody is close. Surely Annie will yeah, play the bait position. Uh-oh. Now it's just Laurie left in a blink of an eye. And the shots aren't connecting here for Shopify. Yeah. Pistol. Here we go, Jazzy can't make her way through this time. That's going to stifle this push. And they can only go through the tube up into Kitchen. And so now it's actually a way more controlled look coming through from Shopify. They've come. <laughs> Just nice orbs ready to go, too. Sova removed. No ground Ooh. to work with. But Alexis still finds a pick. Yeah, and that gives them a lot of space. That actually pulls Panini to have to hold the flank. Oh, Panini. Oh. oh, oh, this could be the moment. An opportunity, perhaps. Looking for the trigger discipline there. Seeing if she can get some extra from that. Oh, no. Han is in trouble, too. Alexis is turning this one around. And just like that, it's up the flowerful. And the one versus two. I think she's coming from right now. She got a frag earlier at Snowman. So I actually believe they're thinking she's coming from screens or heaven right now. Oh, how, how does she get this defuse in? No util. Yeah. The turret is coming up soon, but looking to avoid a tag. This is so difficult. Turret is the best friend right now. Looking to take the fights and oh, it was a good op able to come forward. Spike not planted yet, of course. 
There we go. Some utility used to secure the plant. Good fight, though, from Shopify. Able to get Jazzy dealt with. And we have the kind of fallback to play that post-plant position. Those lineups and so on will be utilized here by C9 White on the defense of this spike. Look at this plant, though, and Han has no wall, Dan. Oh, it's difficult. They have to go so aggressively for these kills. It's hard to win these fights. Great stuff from Alexis holding the line at the back. Laurie can't quite get to a place where this operator is going to be useful, which is very, very hard. Stick is coming through. Oh, Laurie able to take down Alexis on the trade, but it's just too much. On with a better angle, though, to deal with this. Oh, but not oh. ready, though. May have been looking at the minimap, not sure, but whatever it is, it's a frag for Katsumi. And here comes the push into the Viper's Pit, and they know exactly how to counter it. Just P, I don't know that it's a good spot to use it from, though. Uh-oh, <laughs> Katsumi in the back with the taps. But it's Laurie and KP to get the frags. The spikes now drop. There's 15 eight. seconds left in the round. And suddenly, time is the best friend of Shopify because Cloud9 White have to get the spike down, and you know what? Doesn't matter. The Hunter Spear in the lockdown. They could potentially lose this round on time if they keep waiting. Uh oh. oh yeah, getting some tags here as well. Might even get a pick off of that one. Yeah, Katsumi goes down, and just like you said, this is the other part that could really suck is that you lose time, and that is being abused here. 20 seconds to get the plant. Shopify, if they play their cards right here, they're going to win this round. Apple knows an opportunity when she sees one. Just trying to dance around with Panini. 10 seconds now for Annie to try to find a way to win this one. Not going to happen. Yup. The poison was blocks KP off. Ooh, trying to escape Mel's close enough for the flowerful. Will Flowerful win the key 1v1 against Jazzy? That's the question. There's so yeah, much to worry game. about for Flowerful in this position. The bait comes through. Surely Jazzy's going to be able to find a finish onto this one, but KP's in the action. And Flowerful is going to just find a way around Yellow. It's not going to work out. Two versus three comes through for Shopify as they try to make this one work. Laurie's up in the face of Mel, but it falls to Panini now to keep their chances in this round alive. And it's just, oh, it gets the tag. From the recon dot and that's going to be a wrap and that's the nightmare for flowerful the alarm bots triggered it happens to be that someone peaks top site jazzy with excellent repositioning and c9 white again <gasps> she's been robbed sean she's been absolutely robbed by that how is that not a kill that's insane laurie is still alive and in position Flowerful able to take down Alexis with the turret. Oh, just holding down the flank or rather the rotation through mid. Shopify are actually in good stead here. Spike is going to be planted on this B site. But in terms of the numbers, we have advantages for Shopify, but they have that Hunter Shuri to worry about. Indeed, and look at Anidra. She's just chilling there deep in B lobby. So safe and no one's on the flank. That Hunter Shuri is coming out this round, Dan. Absolutely is, and we've got Annie here, throwing the dance. Oh, but the push comes in very quickly. Jazzy with a great defense takes down two players. Blades come out, but it's KP against Annie now. And no more under Shuri blast for Annie to finish it off. And KP will put the pressure on, but surely the swing comes in. Oh, he'd be able to get the gun out just in the nick of time. Has to win these fights, and Annie's not committing to the peak. It looks so difficult. Annie played. This push here from Shopify, playing through market. Dealing with all the util, the killjoy util along the way. Okay, so it's a, it's a very much a delay-based backside setup. Mel has to try to survive as long as possible with Annie. Annie goes down quite quickly. Look how fast they are trying to take down Mel. Perfectly done from Shopify just before the rotation gets into assist. Spike planted. Ooh. Luckily, Jazzy takes away that raid boss arena. Alexis on the flank. There she is, Dan. Two on three. This is by no means is this a clear-cut round for Shopify. I definitely agree. I love the Phoenix pick on Ascent. I couldn't agree more. Farming the orbs so easy on the attack side. Probably going to see that. But again, Shopify, great start to this map. I don't see Katsumi winning this, Dan. I think we're going to have a 1-0 start again. Oh, it's possible. It's beautiful. Like, the, the nitrous oxide button's being pressed. Full speed. Shopify doing a good job here. Getting that ground. I'm going to take down Katsumi. That's the Astragon. It's a big win. Three versus three, though. So the numbers game is it's actually a pretty good spot for Cloud9 Whites. They have time here to re kind of coordinate their efforts. And they're playing two under hell. I like this. 
Alexis will surely use this run it back, Dan. There it is, the dash into the cloud burst as well. Alexis, oh, that's so strong from Alexis, cleaning up every single last player. Oh man, the run it position, the, the hold around the main is kind of annoying. And there's a, a push coming from Catwalk as well. So it's you know what, going to be meeting them. It's hitting them on the heels. And Mel, oh, so much damage with the Spectre through spawn, finding a timing. Fury, but does Mel even want to drop it? Oh, Alexis finding a timing there. With the shot, Panini just barely gets around the corner in time. And it's two players to deal with this. Alexis with the curveball is so happy to fight against that. And here goes Laurie. It's such an important position. Doesn't even get to pull the trigger. And how does this happen? It's a total wipeout coming in from Cloud9. Wow. What? Like, you know what? You know I'm here, but I'm happy to fight. Well played, though. That is an opportunity and one taken successfully by Dan. So by no means is this an easy take, even in a five on four. Mel will likely get a frag here. Yeah, very likely. And there we go. One frag and a second actually off of the Nano Swarm. So it goes to a 3v3. Katsumi has a Cosmic Divide available if, if they want, which could shut down the A main position. And in fact, it's, yeah, it's going to shut down the forward parts of the site, allowing Jazzy to get right out there. But the, the defense is on the site, so maybe it's not as helpful as they wanted, but Jazzy will dance back and forth between the wall to find every single kill. And that's Cloud9 1 again. Able to you can see it's a struggle for Shopify to find an approach that is successful. Because Cloud9 1 is so good at just having these answers. Mel in a great position to punish. Oh, and... That turret is still up, I believe. Uh, yeah, it is. <laughs> still Look how quick the reaction is from Cloud9. Wipe a flowerful on the lurk. Damn. Just slide them in that cat position. Mel, though, she is an absolute demon. Eventually, she's been vanquished, but it's a two versus two. And you're up against Jazzy with the operator, Katsumi with the Phantom, against a Spectre and a Marshal. Yeah, and Shopify's taking the fight to them. They're not playing the site. Is Cloud9 White going to clear? It looks like, yeah, they're going to clear all these angles. They're very aware. They're not rushing things. Powerful position is... It's possibly a one and done, but in a situation like this, that could be great. But <gasps> not looking the right way at the right time, and there's no follow-up from Panini. Katsu... And there it goes, and just going to get sent straight back, so... The drone was supposed to help you gain space, but the util from Killjoy just prevents that possibility. And Lori at least wins the fight against Mel, so that's a huge victory. But they are down. Three against four. Here. And Jazzy's in a deep here. position here in B Lobby. Cutting off the mid-rotation. And the spike is stuck, here. Sean. Yeah. What, what are they going to do here? You can see Diana begs for a smoke from Panini, and she gets it. <laughs> Oh no, but the elf angle from Alexis. Full util available. This is the frag, and it's an easy one for uh, Alexis to execute, and now it's down to Panini. One versus four. Looking to see what she has. Possibly. That's a good opening pick, but they know where she is now. I love it. Annie waiting. You can see she's waiting for contact before going for the swing. That would effectively fury. This round, it looks like they've got a new main control. The turret's not broken. And now they're storming through mid, Dan. Alexis is so ready. Gets the first kill. Katsumi pushes beyond the smoke to get the second. And, oh, the lurk out of Catwalk. Perhaps premature, possibly. Mel, maybe just conditioned to expect it to be just everybody towards the mid position in that spot. But Shopify spreading out, winning the battles, creating a favorable situation. Two versus one. The Shopify. This is a great opportunity. Spike planted. Take flight. Oh, and he still has this drone. I think she realizes both are on a main now. Perhaps not. So he knows where one player is, knows one is a main. The second player unknown. Oh my oh. goodness, what an angle. That's such a smart angle to play from Annie. And she's created a 1v1. I can't believe it. She's done it. She's absolutely... For Diana looking to get those entries. Flowerful. 
heading up the Killjoy ultimate. The lockdown comes through as well. And he's on the site, and she's been spotted. She is so... So dead, surely. <laughs> so dead? Question mark. Uh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> and that's the site under control. The spike can go down. And C9 White on the retake. Three versus four. Oh my four. god, Dan, we're... It's deja vu. Mel is going to be in B lobby, and she has the lockdown. We're going to see the same lockdown now from the defender point of view. Oh, and the Cosmic Divide is there as well. I wonder how oh. that's going to come through from Katsumi. God, are they going to lock them in the site? How does this play out with these two ults? Oh, there's the first one. Oh no, this, oh no, this is so problematic. Diana's going forward to try to find a way to deal with this. Get the frags, get the lockdown, something. And Jazzy's defending from that spawn position, getting the frags. They're trying to escape here. Oh, oh no. no, Dan, oh, no. no. Not like this. Oh, <laughs> Jazzy picks it up with the knives. And there's just enough oh? time, I think, for Mel. Oh, just barely enough time for Mel to get the defuse in. Four Shopify players here. I love I it. They're making their defensive side look the, like the attacking side, attacking into the mid. Oh, oh KP. Just what? close line. Three players. No respect. She shot three bullets and got three kills. That's how you, that's, that's how you do it. That's how you do it, Dan. I've never done it that way. <laughs> <laughs> well, Annie Dro is going to try to get it done as well. Jets are just so annoying, aren't they? Just like dashing around. What? Where are they even? Yeah, watching a Jet versus Silver battle, it's like I don't even know who I want to win. You know? <laughs> Ooh, Lori with a mark. That's the Mel. Opportunity now. Diana not able to hold this position by herself. I guess, oh, get some spray though. Through that smoke, and that's a great pick. That will give opportunity for Shopify here. Paranoia comes through for the gen position. That might allow Diana to get down on the site. Indeed, the Empress comes through and Ooh. Diana crushes the gen players, leaving Annie alone. But there's not too much for Annie. Thank that recon, Dan. It's all for Diana from the wine position. And there's the peak coming through. There's no waiting around. And the Cloudburst will go down. Out goes Lori, dashes back into safety. And this is just so well played. The counter play to stop the push before it gets started. And it's completely... Cloud9 White busts through this. Yeah, KP has the Odin. And Lori's going to get another pick. They're just... This is fantastic from Shopify. They look like a completely different team. That's a nice find from Annie. There's a couple bullets through the smoke. Somehow connects. Apple will collect the operator. And Annie's once again in a situation where maybe it's just about going for kills here. Oh, I'm so impressed by how they started this round, Sean. That was so cool. I, I honestly was wondering if Lori lagged out. That's why I was so speechless for a second. But it was because she purposely tanked the recon for the player in wine. That's so smart. You want to fight? Great opening pick coming through from Diana. Oh, oh, Diana with the spray. Looking to get it done. Finish it off with the Sheriff. Jazzy's out there, though. The classic comes through, but KP and, and just win these thrifties somehow. But... Shopify, they're doing better than previously where they give too much space away, Sean. They are just poking. Diana! Just tearing people up through this cat smoke. Oh man, the round's, they, the round's pretty much over. Yeah, it's like they go through mid and they, oh, they didn't see anybody and they've lost two and a half players. Oh, I don't yeah. even know what to do. <gasps> oh! Okay. okay. Just like that, in spawn. What happens in spawn stays in spawn. We didn't see it. We'll never know, but there's a 3v3. And Flower Falls that backside, delaying. Key key play to keep the delay up here. Lori with the blade still not finding the value. The spray doesn't find the second for Panini, leaving it to Flower Fall. They know if. I don't even know if the lockdown is of value in this situation. They're just going to fall to A main, and they would be able to play the post plan and win at that point. She can't use it. She might be able to use it if she drops Jen. Yeah, she has to like, is... stick it deeper, in a deeper position. This is such a difficult clutch right now for Flowerful. Yeah, it, it really is, and they don't have to peek. 
even because of, oh she gets the second one that's a big move gonna force them to have to go for a peek but she's got to she has to win the fight off of the peek but oh the astra util oh they both peek at the same time and it's not gonna work out the thrifty comes through and we're in mid and they have again three players but one has been tagged down to like 20 hp and they have three and they just have three sheriffs against five players i don't understand it's all heading towards b the counter lockdown is there for flowerful Diana trying to defend here has the Liz out there. Oh, down to 6 HP gets. Oh no, gets detained as well. But Shopify might be able to save her as they start to make their way through from the spawn position. Diana is still somehow alive. And now it's up to Lori. One versus two. Spike is getting planted. Is there a rifle to switch out for? Does she even want to do that? She has one bullet left. Oh, it's an Odin. Okay. Here it goes. Pushing into the site from the alley. Maybe the Odin's the play. Not back off out of the site. No, the, the full rotates here. Look at this. All of Cloud Nine's coming. Straight in there, and Alexis able to get a couple kills there to make things favorable for Cloud Nine White. Although Shopify have made it to the site, there goes a the Trailblazer. Kasumi's wrapping around the site. I don't know if they know that she's this. Oh, Diana with a just absolutely insane right click there. What a reaction! A flick from her has to finish it off, and she does. The clutch from Diana. Great stuff. Sure. And one on the side though, Kasumi goes in close to the frenzy. Leave must have a gun in hand as well. Oh no, no. Kasumi's done so much damage. Mel comes through with the Spectre as well, and this is not how this is supposed to go. Diana has to save this one. There goes the flash. Can Diana make it work? No, Alexis dodged it. They know front net is clear. Look at all the Cloud9 players funneling to this A site. Yeah, these angles from Jazzy are perfect. The sights. Look again, three people on C. Spike down, C. Oh, Lori's able to get one, and Panini also doing a number on Katsumi. By like going down, Alexis finding an angle in, but actually. Got an angle from Panini. Jazzy's in a very good spot there, able to take down Lori. Very dangerous stuff here, but now it's down to Jazzy. One more kill to refresh the dash. I'll burst slowly gain some ground on this site. The time is against Jazzy at this point. He needs to find these kills pretty quickly. And this is looking very good. Annie is committed in this A site. Gets flash. Will she be able to do any damage? Oh, it is so much damage. She may have just stuffed this completely. Annie with another kill. Three kills in the round for Annie. Mel gives the assistance that's necessary to get. Oh, no. <laughs> No shot, Dan. No shot does she get a kill in this gap, right? Oh, she actually goes with that play. That's immense. As her teammates are starting to come through. Jazzy's in there as well. Gets all the frags with the knives. I don't believe it. So much damage coming into play. Benini is just alone in no man's land. Jazzy and not sure starts to come in. And there it goes. Seekers come out. Jazzy finds one onto T Long. They think that they've done a reset that and that they've suggested they've gone to a but as you said th this is completely known Lori takes down jazzy because alexis in on the flank though does the damage she was waiting for that spot and this is a freebie for katsumi and there's one more to go Lori takes it down has time to but does she have time to actually get the spy planted she has to go for it now she's committed and oh the push comes in there was still a chance for Lori to win that battle but mel harassment from annie but she got it and now the strat starts Oh, but Katsumi in the window, <laughs> low, takes down three players, and the round is dead. It's gone. It's just been completely stopped. The train never left the station because of Katsumi, and she's trying to get that ace now at this point. There's one more player to go. Panini. Oh, anyway. And Astra Star waiting there, though. Ooh, flash straight in the face. Laurie with a great follow-up. And now they're going to be pushing straight on through. The Hunter's Fury comes in. Clutch for two kills from KP. The Cosmic Divide gets laid down. And there's nothing that c White can do to stop this. Push this. I don't think this is going to go too well. KP. It's going to take down Katsumi. So, okay, Sean. We're going to get three rounds from Shopify here. That was a gorgeous opening, though. Following the Guiding Light with your dash. The Astrostar on the ground to stop Jazzy from pushing. 
Yeah, like he's oh, they found him. barely avoided. Just barely avoided. And now Ghost Mill, oh, into a second cage. Uh, trying to make some heroic plays on the Cypher, but this is a good defense so far. Jazzy is caught in the crossfire as well. So far, so good here for Shopify. A weakened Annie and now a dead Katsumi is all that's left. Beautiful finish to the first half. Four to eight for Shopify. Oh, powerful. And that's the Astragon as well. Yeah, I feel like it's the same thing. Oh, and Flowerful falls. That means the Killjoy set up on B going into this A site. Yeah, trying to beat them to the punch though, but Mel gets beyond the angles. Does Diana realize she does, but then exposing herself to the sewers position. It's a great kill from KP though. Oh, the reaction is to turn that quickly. Yeah, they, I think they've got to realize Jazzy is towards the hell position. There comes the flick. KP is absolutely godlike. Oh my goodness. The quad kill from KP. Could you ask now what the back of the C site? Let's see what they can do here. The dashboard onto the site. KP able to react and take down Jazzy. They're holding back site. They're doing better than that. They are pushing forward. They are so confident. It's just the flanking Annie now that's left. Annie looking for damage. Damage would be a great result. They force bought. They need to get damage at least. 30 seconds left. And it's not good. That has me meant that they're not pushing anything. And they are ready to defend. Both Lori and Diana standing the test here so far. C9 aren't gaining ground. They are getting shut down instead. And this has been paid to perfection. Mel's found a hole, but she has turned her back to flat. Coming through the push into the A sites to get back in. They don't have that lockdown available yet. There's that <laughs> that play wow. from Mel winning the battle towards spawn. And Katsumi's deep luck. Katsumi's also lurking through garage right now. Oh my goodness. There's no way Panini can possibly read this. Oh, I think Flavel was just about to put a lockdown in play, but then that kill on the flank has completely removed the possibility to do that. Yeah, so you know that she's got a good spot here. That seems like Shopify Rebellion can come back in these late games. Are they going to find the value that they need? Waterfall has this lockdown, and Annie just used the Hunter's Fury, Dan. This is going down, and I don't know how Cloud9 White deal with this. Spike planted. Oh, did it? Did they even? They didn't even plant it for long shot, and they're going to be forced too long. There's nowhere else to go. Oh, this is a very desperate look. Mel's going to get a neural theft. And just she's gonna see everyone on the site. Oh, they, Mel's gonna be in a great position. She wins the battle. That's a huge frag from Mel. She follows up, and now it's a one v one. Diana's just gonna play this Aang. The Ashes are over. Oh, she's a bit. Oh, the timing's not good though. And there's the trade approach, but it doesn't. It's not quick enough. You know why? I just look. Side is gone. I don't know what the money's like for Shopify to spawn again. Mel in the cover position, the crossfire comes through. There's the Cloudburst to try to deal with that. Great team play coming through from Cloud9 White. And KP. Oh. It's just... <gasps> Walking into it. KP's there, ready to go. Can't deal with Alexis, but at least gets one of those opening kills. And his players on the site get tagged by that Seeker, trying to stay alive on the site, wrapping around the back. Alexis, Annie coming through here for Cloud9 White, but Laurie strikes back with a double out of the Bladestorm. And now Katsumi alone on the luck. This would be powerful if she has someone to play off of. But at this point, enough time has passed. The spike is under control. Shopify have the benefit of this clock with them as well. And Katsumi now can get caught by that. But there surely is no time. Oh. She has just four and a half seconds. So she has just enough time for this one. Now she knows that Laurie's coming through as well. The operator in hand. The blaze storm. <gasps> it connects in time. The jump did it. I love it. Just walks down mid over. And then they go to the A site. It's going to be the cosmic divides uh, just both ways. <laughs> a huge pizza slice there. And we'll see what happens. C9 are doing a great job. 10 seconds to get the plant in. KP. She's going to go for a hero play against the planter. There's one. Can't stop the plant from going, and they know precisely where KP is. The cosmic device is so annoying right now. And there goes the first, the second as well, the fall. Where are these two players? They can be literally anywhere on the site. 
Great off angle from Mel. That's going to steal the thing we're seeing. This is routine now at this point from C9 White. It's stall on A and then into the A push. Oh, but the positioning is good here. A gun collected by Flavel. Picked up a Bulldog. Can she get anything more? Oh, damage done. Two versus two. And he has that Hunter's Fury for the shoulders. There's guns here on the site. Place to be made. Picking up these weapons. Rifles in hand. Here goes the judge. Diana takes one down, swaps out for the Vandal. There's plenty of time. Guardian Light comes in. That's going to nail Katsumi. The follow up is good from Diana. And it is a very unexpected round of thrift. Back and forth we have late in this game. This is so awesome to see. And the. Yeah, and they're playing retake C. Banking on that lockdown. Now this one will do some damage here. Jazzy looking to go forward, possibly. I think she really wants to get aggressive in this position. Looking for the opportunity. Down to 10 HP. Has to get out of dodge now. Gets caught by the turret. Oh, the turret didn't get dealt with. And now they're trying to rotate out. And Flowerfall's going to... KP has the recon coming on in one sec. Oh, okay. That's a sick shot from Alexis. They actually have a 3v3 after plant now on this side. The, the lockdown's gone. Neural theft lets them know no one's on the flank. All of Cloud9 White... Eyes trained towards spawning garage. Here we go, Laurie now making the dash through. Trying to find her way onto the first pick. They're looking good right now. Shopify just have to find one more as Katsumi comes down to the 1v1. Laurie gets it. And that's going to be it. 13 to 11. Shopify. Oh, Mel's holding onto a Huka control at the moment. And you were right, looking for that backhaul control, but Alexis has swung around onto the site. In fact, she's completely outpositioned them. Oh, the opportunity for Alexis finding the tags eventually. That's KP down. That's a big scalp to take early on here in this pistol. And the defuser is starting to come in. Oh, nice pick up from Han. That's going to deal with the defuser. Still more players to go. Another nice pick coming in from Flapple. They're doing a great job actually playing off of one another. And now Han is all on you. And Han can't do Got that wall for showers and retake on the Viper wall, that is. Here goes U-Haul control, but Mel's going to shut that down. Diana doesn't have a trade fragger next to her because of the defensive util from Mel, able to slow things down. Mel's doing this just absolutely perfectly so far. She's delayed the push. She's able to isolate one player away. Lost U-Haul, but had the good timing. And they have to plant the spike, and this is the moment for C9 to go in, and you can see they're able to just swarm the site off the back of this. Mel did such a great job in delay, and it's worked out nicely for C9. C9 White would be very important for Shopify to get rid of their economy here. There we go, the Seekers come through. Flashes as well, already trying to hold on to this octagon position, but it will fall. Uh, Shopify pushed forwards, but so does Jazzy. She's actually gone beyond spawn, and she's managed to get backside control. Jazzy right now is extremely annoying, and you can see that it's slowed everything down. Really good stuff here from Jazzy. Looking to follow it up. That's a great follow-up. The trade is in, but she's created a 2v3 and time for another player, Katsumi, to get back side. And Han is looking for her. Han's going to find her. Sani off. And there's really nothing that can be done against it. That's the checkmate. You wouldn't have wanted to... This is real fast. Oh, I don't want to get stuck. Man, they're so buggy, aren't they? <laughs> Diana's going to go through get absolutely nailed by Katsumi. And there's that showstopper coming out from Jazzy. And a huge octagon hold at the moment here from Jazzy. She is ready for this. She also, of course, has assistance if she needs it. Maybe she doesn't. Oh, I should get out of there. And th this just got absolutely stuffed. Does he see it? As he knows. Get out of here. She's Very well played. Rotation back to the B side of the map. They may decide Ooh. to go for the TP, possibly. I, they may assume that only Viper could be towards A. So the TP play might be the best. If you just want to really bait players into this before you hit the TP. And in fact, they're just going for it here. Katsumi is going to annihilate this. Oh my god. As well as the Hunter's Fury. They're going hard into the B side again, Sean. And Hunter's Fury to open things up. And oh, that's got to be good, surely. Diana takes down Katsumi. Astragon. And Han will also be able to help clear the backside. So they've got control. They do. And oh, oh, do they have control, Dan? We're in a three on three. Yeah, well, it's working out here. Jazzy in a one versus three. And two of these players are critically weak. They're very, very low. Jazzy only with the one satchel. 
Maybe she can get a refresh on the pain shells here, though. If she finds another one, there's the peak with the satchel. Dodges the blind. That's a hard roll. Ooh. Oh, this is scary. Oh, she got I don't passed. like this. Ah, uh, Mel's gonna go down. Animal Annie as well. I, I gotta say, that wall's really tricky with the gaps in it. Yeah. And very it worked bold, out for though. Shopify. Bold considering Cloud9 White's passive setups have worked so well. Spike planted. Yeah, and there's, there's a two-player uh, two flank, actually. One cave, one market. Market gone. They may not expect cave as well. Frags. One enemy remaining. <laughs> it's a cheeky dink there. What? Oh, that rain. The info. Really, really scary stuff here. Not going to deal with the trailblazer, but I think it spotted her position. There comes the defensive Hunter's Fury trying to stop this push before it gets started. And Mel's still in position. Not for too much longer, but Han has nobody left to fall back on. She's going to get tagged. Has to go for the spike too. That's a problem. One versus three for Han. Definitely doable. Well, that could be the kill she's looking for. Tanking the pain shells though and the trades there through from Annie. But it's just so hard to go through them. Han is going to make her way through first, though, and Diana. Oh, no, Jazzy. Actually, <gasps> Katsumi goes through U-Haul, though, and misses the timing. Do they have any sense about U-Haul? That's the question. Oh, more players going in through U-Haul right now. Jazzy beats Diana. It's a 3v4 now for Shopify. They really need this round. There's a couple snake bites available as well. I start seeing those come through. Great position for KP. Doesn't miss those ones. KP with the triple. And she shuts down the retake effort. Annie again needs to come out huge. What the hell? <laughs> so the Hunter's Fury just comes in to blast Annie. But that tells Annie where KP is. I don't think KP was trying to hide it though. Champion, championing the spot around you. Already here on side to deal with this though. That Viper Wall is up. Looking to perhaps get them through to a triple plant, possibly. Great pistol from Diana. But she's caught, Dan. And look at this. All the trades go in Cloud9 White's favor. Oh, they are... Jeez, oh, Louise. Shopify Rebellion locked. All huddled around. Cloud9 White all huddled around. The short position. The KP could get some good action here. Nice opening pick from Flowerfall. That's the distraction that KP needed to get the damage in from the back. KP needs to find the headshots here for Flowerfall to do the rest. Now two players set up. It's going to be at the base here. That snake fight actually didn't go all the way, but it doesn't matter. I going to take down Mel. Oh, good follow-up coming. When there's a Sova with a recon arrow and you know, the retakes all coming through. It's going to be such a hard sight for them to hold. Yeah, looking to go for elbow control. This is a big moment to see if this round could be possible to win. And Jazzy converts against KP. So, again, they are down a player. But with elbow control and the spike taking away, there is definitely a world where they have options. Oh, straight into Panini, though, goes Katsumi. Now just Jazzy left. Now that's, that's uh, I think Han is going to stick that all the way. And there's nothing that Jazzy can do here, I don't think. Able to get oh. the rock here. It's going to send that through for the Frank. Counter, I think, by into the U-Haul position. It's going to be a tough one here for Shopify. They really need this round. Ooh, Paint Shell's Stand almost to took pocket. Mel out of the round, but she's probably going to get healed by the regrowth. Carrying all these spots. Jazzy in a very elevated position. Really good spot for her. Oh, she goes down by the judge, though. Oh, Flowerful able to initiate a trade from Panini. Four versus one now. Just Annie left in the one versus three. Trying to do what she can from the short position. Finds one <gasps> trade following up for a second. Out comes the class. Cutting noise by Cloud9 and White. Looking for the reaction. Oh, I lo oh, trying to flash the drone. Take it out. And the punish is there. Oh, huge kill from Diana. Tries to pull out the boom bot. Bro, two on four right now. This deep in the map. Yeah, the, the anti the anti flash play is just so. It really means nothing in a round like this. And look how spread Cloud9 White is. And Mel's lurk is 100% activated after that frag. She's in U hole. Here they come straight into the sheriff. Oh, that's a great opening kill from Han. But unfortunately, this is not enough behind it. Panini has this like saved Spectre. 
Spike planted. They have so many ults here, Sean, but they just there's not really spots to use. Yeah, we mentioned we mentioned the Viper utility just blocking all of those sight lines on A. Mel with the wall going across the site. The poison orb for this is gonna be a B hit. Nowhere! Gonna challenge Diana. Oh, the timing there for Diana is not favorable. I'm trying to dodge the Hunter's Fury. It's just the timing is impeccable. Coming through from Shopify Rebellion. We've got the counter ults coming through from KP. Knows that they have to get frags before the spike goes down. Flowerful takes down the lurking Mel. Three versus four. Cosmic Divide actually could be quite powerful here. But you can see everyone's playing Sight because they know that. that Cosmic Divide needs to be the difference here. Flowerful. Find some pressure. That's the cubby. Snake bite. That's beautiful there. That's going to force Jazzy out of position. Oh, they can't take Jazzy down though. Although Flowerful will follow it through, but it's Panini that goes down in the trade. They can't afford to play the numbers game here. They have to find a way to get multiple kills. KP takes down Katsumi. Looking for the next one is Flowerful. Won't be successful. Up to KP once again. One versus two to keep them and their chances alive, but it's not.